Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. Welcome to Domo Education. Then, so here our next question what we have to do here is ninth question. So they are given that one triangle ABC. After that, they are telling that D is the midpoint of BC. D is the midpoint of BC, and this is going to divide BC as what you can write it here is that BC will be equal to BD plus DC. That D is the midpoint. Since D is the midpoint, what you can write it here is BD will be equal to DC. So BD will be equal to DC. Then after that, DE. So this DE is perpendicular to AB, and this DF is perpendicular to AC. So DE is perpendicular to AB. Then DF. Is perpendicular to AC, so it's making 90 degree, 90 degree like that. So here they are making 90 degrees. After that, they are telling that DE will be equal to DF. So whatever given conditions we have to write it, then what we have to tell here is BED. That is congruent to CDF, CFD. BE means CF. So write the conditions. Let consider let triangle BED and triangle CFD. So what we have to show here is what are the conditions they are given. So this BD will be equal to first one BD will be equal to DC since M is sorry D is midpoint. So mid point. Our next one what you can write here they are they only given in the figure. Then what you can say DE so this DE will be equal to DF. So why because these two and two sides are equal, then what you can write it here is so from this BED. So angle BED, angle BED will be equal to angle CFD. Angle CFD that will be equal to 90 degrees. It's making right angles. So this is let's take hypotenuse. So let's consider these two are the triangles what we have taken. So this is H1 and this is H2. So why? Because this is what congruency rule? Here 90 degrees they are given. So that which congruency rule is most suitable? Right angle hypotenuse. That is right angle hypotenuse one side. So hypotenuse is nothing but in right angle triangle. The side which is opposite to the angle. The side, this is the side which is opposite to the angle 90 degree angle so that is called hypotenuse so based on this by using this is rhs so right angles so this is right angles then what is hypotenuse bd and dc is hypotenuse so these are the hypotenuse let's take this is hypotenuse hypotenuse and de are one side so by rhs congruency criterion by rhs congruency rule or congruency criterion then what you can say here is that two triangles are congruent to each other that is triangle BED is congruent to triangle CFD so these are the congruency criterions by using this we have to show like that our next question is 10 to 1 if the bisector of an angle of a triangle also bisects the opposite sides bisecting means making into two equal halves that is one side is divided into two equal halves opposite side then prove is that a triangle is an isosceles triangle so let's draw one triangle like this so let's going to draw like this let's take this is triangle a b c so triangle a b c then what we have to take it the angle is let's take this is the angle that angle the bisector of an angle so this is the bisector we have to make it that angle into two equal halves so let's take this is bisector so the angle the bisector of an angle of a triangle this is the triangle bisector we are drawn slightly we have to draw so then bisector opposite side so for this angle a for angle a opposite side opposite side is bc so for angle A, opposite side is BC, opposite side also bisects. So it's going to that. So BC, let's take this is the point, let's take D. Or let's take this is the point P. 
you can take anything there. So this is BC is equal to BP plus PC, then BP equal to PC. So both these two, the triangle is bisect the opposite side means it's making two equal ops. BC is going to divide it into two BP or you can write two PC. Both you can write anything there. So that is BP will be equal to PC. Then what you can take it here. So we have to show that this AB will be equal to AC. Why? Because these angles are isosceles angles. So we have to make it this angle and means we have to show this triangle ABP and ACP are congruent to each other. Then you can show that AB is AC. So let's take let triangle ABP and triangle ACP. So in both the things, what we have to check it here. So that angles, these angles are equal. That is, let's take angle A by 2. Let angle A by 2 will be equal to some x degrees. So this is x degrees. This is also x degrees. So we know, as we know that, so this I this is making, this is the APB and AP and AP is a common side. And if any side is divided into two equal means, this is compulsory, that is perpendicular bisector. So perpendicular bisector means it's making 90 degrees here. So it is making 90 degrees. That means 90 degrees means it is a straight line. So it's making 90 degrees. By using what you can write it here is APB. So let's take angle P B P A equal to angle C P A. That is 90 degrees. That is it's making 90 degrees. And one more thing, what you can take it here is PP will be equal to what you can write SSC congruency rule you can go or ASC congruency rule you can write it BP also BP will be equal to CP that is this is equal of the two are equal so based on that bisecting by using of bisecting equal and one more thing AP is equal to AP that is common side so that is common side so that is common side you can write like that then AP will be equal to AP and angle A angle A x degree is equal to let's take this is the angle by using of both criterions we can say this is side angle side or angle side angle by using both the criterions you can say like that. So AP will be equal to AP that is BAP angle BAP will be equal to angle CAP angle C A P that will be equal to x degrees. So by using angle bisector rule we are telling that angle bisector rule by using of what you can say. So since by your angle sine angle angles A S C and here you can take with three. So angle side angle side angle side angle here also angle so this one we don't know this is side angle side side angle side so from this side angle side and angle side angle so anything you can take it or not and so by using of asa or sas congruency rules by using of asa or xas congruency criterion congruency rule then what you can say that two triangles are congruent to each other so let's therefore triangle what what triangles a b p is congruent to triangle ACP. So these two triangles are congruent to each other. Then what you can say here is AB will be equal to AC. That is triangle ABC is isosceles triangle. So isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. So like this we need to prove. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.